Hello everybody and welcome to the Discussing Death Battle Podcast. I'm your host Mo and with, at, with me as always is Mac. Hey, hey, what's up? And Med. I know you may have forgotten me, but I'm still here. Yeah, he, he's still here. Uh, Dude, they probably right. forgot of all of us. They probably think we're all dead now. Well, Mac I al- literally had a hurricane. Yeah, Mac almost died. He was in a hurricane. That happened. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we've never really posted on the Discord server at all. Uh, well, we we post a decent bit on that server, right? especially me. I but, post. Oh, yeah. yeah, we all post a lot, so. We're literally there every day. <laughs> yeah, we all, we always post something every day, so. You guys should join Discord. I'll probably leave it in the description if I don't forget. I'll probably forget. Um, also, I'm, go- I'm going to try to do like a timestamp thing. Like, put it in the comments so that... You can just keep, you can just skip ahead to certain parts. Oh, all right. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right. Um, that that help for people who are only here for a certain thing. So that that's very that's a very good idea. Ned. He did not run yeah. that BIOS. He's just doing it now. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I think it's a cool idea. Uh, anyway, we were gone so long because well, we actually recorded like half of what we're going to talk about already, but it, it's all on me. I was kind of doing something else at the time, and it came out crap, so I was like, Ah, it's fine, we can just record it in, like, in a week. Uh, uh, we can you think that it. me and Mac, Mac aren't entertaining enough it was to more, carry on the podcast ourselves? It was, le- it, was less yeah, they are, it was less they aren't entertaining enough, and more like I completely dragged it down just by being so uninterested. So yeah, that was, that was really professional of me. Um, and then, <laughs> but we were like, yeah, we can just re-record it in like a week. It's fine. And then you know, Mac. And got, then the U.S. Yeah, Mac got bo- hurricanes in a row. Mac, Almost three. Mac's booty hole got like widened so like, it was so widened by these hurricanes that you can actually <laughs> d- another hurricane can blow through it. So yeah. Um, Interesting. Interesting yeah. image. <laughs> uh, Probably what I would go with, but all right. Made, made Photoshop it. Uh, Put the rope <laughs> the eye of the storm. Yeah, the eye of the storm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we have a lot to talk about so it's probably just, it's, it's probably just going to be death battles dbx's and uh, well, we didn't have we don't have any other content so if you're here for us, bit melee, yeah if pretty much. yeah uh, the, the normal tree so if you're here for us talking about fan content for some reason yeah there's literally none of it so you can click off now we're giving you that one I, I, I had one idea but we're probably not going to get to it we're not going to get to it now. we'll see we'll, we'll see but, probably not though yeah, we're going to be exhausted. My voice is going to be gone halfway through this because I still have to talk really Yeah, hard. I don't even mind. I don't really want to talk about it, but I have to at some point. All right, cool. We'll get there. We have, we'll have yeah. more podcasts in the future, assuming Mac doesn't like, get hit by another hurricane. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's let's move on and actually start covering this shit. So, first of all, the first step battle we haven't talked about since. Uh, well, we did talk about it. We covered the, the lead-up. This is our third time talking about it now. Yeah. McGregor uh, versus Mayweather. <laughs> Balrog. <laughs> TJ versus Balrog. So, um, right. So, we haven't talked about this in it's a while. At least really we have on, on the plus side, we haven't talked about this in a while. So, our opinions might be different. And we could actually add something fresh to this one. So, that might be... We might look out here and get something interesting. Yeah, well, I don't. <laughs> My <laughs> opinion's pretty much changed, unchanged. Uh, it was, it was cool. Um, yeah, it's, and yeah, yeah. It, was, it was probably one of my favorite episodes of the season, even though I know there's parts about it that's that are wrong. But that it, it's goes my, pretty it's much my, every death battle. Yeah, if we hold, if we hold a death battle as accountable for the fact they yeah, spread a bit of mi- misinformation, we literally cannot like any episode in the season in the series. Because yeah. they get, they always get something wrong. Because everybody, you know, it's yeah, that's what it, it's human error. It happens. Although sometimes it's just making really dumb math choices, you know. And like, they do, and we have to, it, it, like, they do at a certain level. They do analyze things a different way from us. Yeah, like, we can so- go, we can disprove like canon facts about like the characters and math, but uh, things like fighting style. We can't just say, like, every part of how they analyze it is wrong. Mm. Pe- different, well, I'm, pe- I know, I'm saying this really badly. Yeah, no, 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 I get, I get, I get, I get what you mean, because, like... Obi-Wan said it best. But, but we, that, but we do, but we, it, 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 it,
yeah, as Obi Wan. Even, even among other versus forums, everyone analyzes shit differently. Like you have ninety percent of versus forums think that Star Wars characters are like relativistic, and then you have space battles, which seems they're not even peak human. And then you have a uh, like versus battles wiki, like downplaying mar uh, comic characters in general. They they put what was it? Downplaying who, who in general? Comic characters in general. Oh. You know, and then everywhere else is like, no, that's stupid. You know, Actually, versus battles get better with that. Didn't they just put like Su uh, Superman Prime One Million down to planet level? Oh no, well, they I put mean... it down to multi solar system. They said at least because he's stronger than the the other. You stop the wow, galaxy what a from fucking moving. Bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what a dickhead. Uh, but they, yeah, they put it down like because. Galaxy level is different from the OBDs, so I don't know science, so I can't really say why. But I Do go with OBD more. Really? Yeah, we, I, I'm more an OBD guy too. So even I don't post there, but I use their system. So yeah, I lurk. Yeah, I lurk there. Okay, um, wait, Battle Rock but, Yeah, we're getting off topic. Yeah. Battle Rock with TJ. Um, get off topic here. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a good fight. I think. It, I I believe as person among all three of us who knows the most about the franchises i think it was a, a wrong no no i don't know do <laughs> yeah I, I i think it was a wrong fight i don't think they got it right but uh on the plus side i prefer tj uh so i am pretty happy about it yeah. the, an the animation and... the animation i go back and forth on how good the animation is it's, it's definitely one of the top tiers in the season i don't think anyone even will debate that um, but the season's kind of a low no. bar. Yeah, the season's kind of a low bar so far. Um, yeah, but there is definitely clipping errors. For a boxing fight, it's really slow, but then again, these two are kind of slow boxers, so it kind of fits. Um, um, the Balrog's jacket looked weird. Yeah, Balrog's jacket is definitely the biggest problem. Also, it is very formulaic. It couldn't contain his muscles. <laughs> and then there is just, like, the intrinsic thing where they both have, like, radically different, you know, art styles, but that's something you can't really avoid either. Yeah. yeah. Um, besides, it, it's not it it's fine. not, it's not that much of a problem. Like, Hulk vs. Doomsday pulled it off, and this pulled it off, yeah. better, this pulled it off better than that one, I think. Um, yeah, to some extent, yeah. Now I, I want to go back and watch Hulk you vs. Could, Doomsday. You could say that that the fight was pretty formulaic but dude it's a boxing match of course it's going to you have yeah. to make it like a boxing movie you yeah, have to have I... the moment where yeah the moment where tj get, gets knocked at, out for a moment the camera flashes and then he just gets back up at the last minute to deliver the knockout and it, it, at least it plays into his game mechanics so it's not the worst yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Like, I will say that I, I I appreciate the animation more after he said this last time. In the, I did, yeah, to, yeah. I actually did that is... they incorporated like like Torian incorporated their moves like really in like subtle ways, but in ways that like fans would would see and get and stuff. And that yeah, the, like in the in the middle yeah, of the that... only thing I didn't like was just kind of like I thought the kill shot was just kind of like oh he just punches his head off. Yeah, like, it could have been a little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah, although, although they, they, they made something so simple seem a bit better with the whole it lands on the camera thing. That was pretty cool. No, uh, yeah. the, like Mac was saying, there's a part in the middle where they actually uh, use like their basic, like their very basic combo strings on each other. I think it's uh, TJ goes into one. Uh, yeah, TJ does his. Then Balrog like super armors his way through a reset from a recapture. And does it again, and then TJ like combo breaks him, and then it goes back into normal animation. It's pretty cool when you know what to look for, and well, I did, so I appreciated it a lot. Yeah, it's a it's, um, it's a good fight. Um, oh, and the music. We can't forget the yeah. one of the hypest themes in video games, and they actually <laughs> incorporated into the fights. Yeah, like, it, was, it was really well done. Uh, the the way they they didn't just play it; they they like kind of jab, they, yeah, they looked, yeah, they lined it up. You know, so it was it was pretty well done. Uh, it was like Baby Driver a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen that. I want to. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a good fight. Um, it's hard to complain. Um, maybe should we talk say about like the boxing triangle thing and because you uh, have it's briefly not... go over why we think it's wrong. I guess. Yeah, we can go over why we think the fight's wrong. The boxing triangle theory is well, the way they presented it is correct. It's not. There's nothing particularly wrong about what they said. TJ is probably the more skilled boxer, and his style counts as Balrog's. Um, so there's nothing really to complain about in that portion. It's literally just the stats and Street Fighter just in general being above, not 
above KI in general, because KI does have shit that dumps on most of Street Fighter. But uh, TJ doesn't get any of that, and, ba and Balrog gets yeah. like most of the shit in Street Fighter that you'd expect someone like him to get. So, and you know, he has the whole tanking a nuke thing. Uh, also, okay. whether or not him, uh, what's called uh, TJ punching uh, full gore into the air is as good a feat as they say it is, is definitely up for debate. And Or even better than KOing an elephant, because yeah. I don't know, that seems like it. That was kind of like a low, like crushing a skull or something for an elephant, it should be like, be like higher. No, I think I think the issue is they were they were making it sound like TJ used a casual punch to knock up Fulgore, and it's not it's not his strongest punch, but it's not a casual. Yeah, like punch isn't either. it literally wind but, uh, up to it? Yeah, there's so, a like it literally there. shows him charging it up, right? Yeah, when yeah. He does that. It's it. He does have stronger punches in his arsenal, but it's up there as one of the strongest punches. Whereas Balrog's punch, I believe, was a casual punch. It definitely wasn't a super at any rate. So you know, it it doesn't line up that way. It's just. There's little bits. It's there's not the fight isn't like hard. It's not the worst verdict we've ever seen. No, I don't think Quite it's the, far. In, in in the in the I think the, even the next fight has a worse verdict in the way they they, they put it. They put it, you know. But uh, like there are yeah, yeah. there are genuinely closer matches that yeah. have worse reasoning that gets under our skin more than this one. Yeah, this one. Balrog, but they're like even closer. It, it was it was a clear win for Balrog in versus terms, but they. They made it cool. They they made it cool. They made it, and, they, yeah, they made it look good. And the way yeah. they the way they've been yeah. analyzing Street Fighter, we should have saw it coming. And uh, and it's hard to complain because TJ's just a better character. Did He's they the, did they use that again? What the, the, the whole? Oh, they only take down freaking international criminals. They, they did. Oh, they they did. No, they did. They, they did. did. They did bring oh, up the. Oh no! They did. They did bring up the fact that. Uh, TJ's fought a wider variety of foes than Balrog because oh, Street Fighter is oh, such a limited verse. It's so no. bad. This meme. I, I, if I, I haven't seen it in a while, so I could be wrong, but I remember them saying it. And they've said, they've said it every time MK or KI comes up. It's like a tier list that MK is it's so wacky and out there that, you know, anything they, any time they fight, they Whoa. have the experience advantage. <laughs> then there's KI. It's so wacky that everyone fights like a normal human. <laughs> <laughs> oh Everyone no! Everyone martial arts. Guns are threatening. Goddamn! MK characters look so much cooler in Injustice. I'm just gonna say it because did you see the Raiden trailer and all the Sub Zero shit. Oh yeah, that I did. Yeah, the Raiden trailer is so good. I'm like, why can't he be that cool in his normal games? I don't even like Injustice or NetherRealm games, but goddamn, if I was to pick one up, it would be Injustice. It's I still don't, I just don't like how they play, but I. From what I played the first Injustice, at least I prefer it to Mortal Kombat. So, sign out. Woo, Hellboy! Oh yeah, that's what I was when I actually yeah, had yeah. when I actually had money. I was looking into buying Injustice 2 just in preparation for Hellboy. Oh, Hellboy is so fucking I cool, want dude. Hell, Hellboy. I, I also I back to because he's literally the only like Teen Titan that wouldn't be. I understand like he'd be a he'd be held a program, but still no. try to. The, like people coming up with like animals or something. Yeah. And it but uh, Shredder. I also they yeah. made, they made Black Manta look like a badass, which is very much appreciated. Yeah, finally. His foot. His respect. Yeah, his fucking outro is the sickest in the game. It just is. <laughs> it's so <laughs> cool. Uh, anyway. It just we're, is. We're, 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 All right, we got Shredder versus Silver Ninja. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no. If he if he was the Silver Ninja, I think he might have won, because ninjas, ninja. bro. You know, Silver the, Shinobi. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool name. Silver Shinobi. Oh fuck yeah, that's cool. Now the only the only thing ninjas can't beat with their super stealth skills are blind girls. Remember that, okay? Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> it's still that's still fucking hilarious. Literally, like, the most legit ninjas all all the show. Yeah, it's like. The, the most ninja-like person that they've had, like a non-ninja, is the one who lost to a blind girl. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So let's 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 not get into my internal salt over that fight. Uh, <laughs> internal sand. <All> right. <laughs> yeah. This fight was really cool, really wrong. Yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. It was a lot. 
it was a lot cooler than it had any right to be. Despite, just, yeah, it, it should have been a dud. It sounded like, for every point of comparison, it was dud. It had dud written all over it. Uh, but it this was gonna be... like the, I think it was the best 2D animation we've got in this season. Yeah, I'd say, I would say so. I'd say so. The only thing that gives it uh, competition is uh, Captain Marvel vs. 18, and there's so much wrong with that product yeah, overall. Yeah, this one's better. It's better, yeah. There's, there's a lot wrong with that one. What? So... But the, yeah, but then a big butt. Yeah, the big butt is uh, ver the animation it's is really wrong. right. Yeah. Oh god. You know how Shredder is like, faster than eyesight, faster than peak human eyesight because he can move faster yeah, than an unfit fat man. Giant lobster who has had no combat training whatsoever, at, and you couldn't even see it. Wow, he's faster than a bullet. It's not the fucking kingpin. He is not the kingpin. <laughs> 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 the kingpin the kingpin's a fat mobster who's also built like a fucking brick house you know he, he, who can tangle with legitimate superhumans this is a fat guy who i'm surprised can get out of his fucking chair but yeah let's give him peak human eyesight that's that's definitely what we should do oh my god it's so like the it's hole is right there boy it's it's like they, they gave me and then like it, they gave every advantage they could to Shredder and downplayed Silver like Silver Samurai as much as they just, could. It exists just so Shredder could get it to a yeah. Fight. Oh yeah, obviously it was obvious that Shredder was going to win. He should. Exactly like how Gargoyle, like not Gargoyle, what's his name? Uh, yeah. I only exists just so he can exist yeah. in a death battle. So Beast got fed to him. I mean, yeah, and yeah. it's kind of like that like, because yeah, they're both cool characters and like Shredder and Shredder is and Shredder. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like... Silver Samurai is not that cool. He just should have won the fight. You know, yeah. like I don't, I don't think he's particularly a great villain. He's not a particularly intriguing character. Shredder is both of those, but it doesn't change the result. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't. Silver Samurai is a mid, is a mid level. Or... Look, audience, we okay. we can admit that quality loses sometimes. Yep, it, it happens. We're not biased here much, uh, so. Um, <laughs> We we have our mo we can do it sometimes, but we we we, we can be biased and clear favoritism towards we, people, but oh, we'll admit like we, we deserves oh, yeah. to fucking die. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll never be biased in terms of how we analyze shit, just in terms of who we want to win. <laughs> so or we'll, we'll just make fun of them really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like look 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 at this. He should win, but god damn it, he's terrible. Uh, like Cat Mar <laughs> Cat Marvel, we did exactly the same thing with Cat Marvel. Like that that's yeah. our attitude. We fuck, We said eighteen should have ate, been eaten alive, and that would have been a good hentai. But no, uh, no. Uh, Remote. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it didn't happen because you know stupidity. Get on it, DeviantArt. Uh, if I don't see that on Dan Borrow by the end of by the day this is uploaded, I swear to Christ. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh this, yeah. yeah so... so this fight, even what what they presented, the feat that they gave. Silver, uh, Shredder to be faster than Silver Samurai is bullshit. Um, and why does he have the mutagen? Like, like on a considered standard for him. Yeah. Because every time I mean, I'm I, no TMNT fan, I. Every, right, well, I. It tends to I'm be no that TMNT every expert. time a sh every time a Shredder comes up and is backed into a corner, he tends to seemingly magic into mutagen. Either it's dumped on him or he just pulls it out of nowhere. So it's not the worst thing. But okay, hold on, hold on, though, hold on, yeah. hold on to. Oh, We're holding on. So, so Shredder has had Mutagen like beef up his stats throughout, consistently throughout different versions of him, right? Oh yeah, throughout yeah. Different, Super Shredder nearly always throughout has. Different versions of media. Even even the ones they and, didn't use, like the Demon and stuff, they almost always have some sort of super form. It's normally and, Super and Shredder, not and it's not necessarily standard, but it's. Some throughout multiple media that so death bow gave it to him yeah so my question right. is oh, where gosh. the fuck gets lex luther super pill when he <laughs> was fighting iron man <laughs> okay <laughs> you're, you're, didn't, they, didn't they mention it they did no. but they did but not in the same way not the same one max talking about they gave him kryptonite steroids yeah he, he, his For the sake. basically they gave him the, Wait, is it the batch they gave him superhuman stats as a human, but not the same as an armor. Whereas the super pill that Mac is talking about is a pill that like basically turns him into Superman, and he does it Injustice. a lot. He did that in post-crisis. He fucking did it all the time in pre-crisis. 
Like, I guess fuck the, the difference is uh, when Shredder does it, it tends I'm to be. I'm pretty sure he did that in New 52. Yeah, he. he at, yeah, and then in Rebirth, obviously, he has the new Superman armor, so. Yeah, because he is a, a new Superman or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't kept up with it. Like, I haven't kept up with it, but I think he still is because I would have heard otherwise. So yeah, he's I, got that blue armor. Yeah, it's. I think it's like gives him Superman stats this time, so that's pretty cool. No, um, no. Uh, like the difference is, I think, in uh, that Shred Lex has such a vast history, and he very rarely gets that. Whereas at the end of nearly every confrontation with Shredder, like you know, final confrontations, you at know, the end of every like Sharks episode. It's not. It's not like every time Shredder pulls up, g comes out, he's like, "Oh no, the turtles are beating my ass in again." I guess I better dump these. He's this are beating my ass again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I. I guess I better. I better insert this mutagen up my asshole that they've widened. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Uh, I was trying to find a time to put, insert like a su supplement, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think. I, yeah, but uh, that's not how it works. But in you know, wait, Shredder's. Turtle stories end. It's not a continuous canon. There's one continuous canon that's contained in the comics, but even then, Shredder is like the Joker, and that his story arc ends, and then he'll come back later. Whenever his story arc ends, he tends to put out the mutagen. Whereas Lex, even though he's done it in every, like, nearly everywhere, him pulling out the Kryptonite, uh, Kryptonian super pill is like a one-off thing in each of those continuities. It very rarely happens. It is. The, I get what Max's coming from. He done I mean, it in multiple storylines. Yeah, I know, but he only ever does it once in those storylines. Because know? he solved the problem. Yeah, but the, most again. of the time, most of the time, those continues keep going, and he comes back, and he doesn't have it. Whereas Shredder, if it keeps going, he's going to put a Super Shredder again. Possibly, it's gonna look different. Yeah, um, I get where Max is coming from, and it's a legitimate argument, but I don't think it's quite as the same or as iconic. I'm doing it tongue in cheek, so it's not yeah. like. Yeah, no, no, I get, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You weren't expecting this serious breakdown, but yeah. <laughs> That's this is me defending the, the reason because I I can't like there's arguments on both sides for this one this one it yeah um anyway that's not why it's wrong it's basically just because super silver super silver samurai what the fuck super silver samurai Mega Man! Super, super samurai. silver silver surfer samurai <laughs> what a silver samurai got okay, a silver wait, server super, surfboard and then it's just suck <laughs> suck no he uses the surfboard as the katana and then he sucks Scarlet Spider's scrotum. I can do this iteration thing. What? Where the <laughs> fuck? I mean, I'm not complaining about this. Where did that... How did you lead into that? How did we I, go from you... I, I, I was just okay. I was just trying to think of ways to keep it relevant to Marvel, but also alliterative. I but we're talking about Marvel characters! Yeah, so, so it's still a Marvel character, because it's Scarlet Spider. <laughs> And he has a scrotum. Maybe. I mean, he's a clone. He might, <laughs> he might not have a scrotum because he's a clone. You might only have one. Most he needs to get it out. <laughs> look, look, look. Don't, 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 hate on, don't hate on the fan fictions, yo. Uh... <laughs> um, so before we move on, let's, yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should talk more about what parts of the fight were actually good because it was a really good fight. The fucking oh anime. My... It was so fast. It was so fucking it was fast. So awesome. It was amazing. It was oh, so the, creative. The creativity of the like. Did you hear? The, I don't know if you guys watched GB Cast. I've actually gotten re since uh, I have more free time recently, and <laughs> no. have, I have more free time recently, and like two monitors because I can watch stuff on my PS4 now. Uh, yeah. So uh, I've been whenever I'm doing work, I just tend to stick it on in the background because I figure it could be useful information to have for this. And also, it can be very intriguing. And also, whenever they grill Torian on pop culture, it's the funniest shit because the guy doesn't have a clue. <laughs> uh, he, he's like, who's who's the guy from Lord of the Rings with the axe? Is it Griffin Lore? Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my he, God. <laughs> he doesn't have a fucking clue. He, he said that multiple times. He doesn't understand. Torian's fucking day. <laughs> yeah, he, I, lo I love, I love Tori. He's great. But no, the, well, the reason I bring this up is when they were talking about, uh... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, they were talking about the kill shot. I, I, I got back on track. Cool. They were talking about the kill shot, and uh, they were saying our original script just had him, like, uh, tossing the sword into his head. You know? And that's it. That was the kill. Every, like, uh, the whole uh, ripping his head off afterwards and the gruesomeness and crushing it, that was like entirely on the anime on Jets. It was Jets, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Yeah, it was him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's in house now, so yeah, it is him, yeah. Um, because he had the stills and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you could tell. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Yeah, that was all him. Um, that was all his idea, and he just basically ninety percent of that kill shot minus the basics of you know stop of like hitting the sword into him. I think even cutting off his arm rather than just disarming him was all on Jets too. Ninety percent of the blood, like yeah, 90, yeah. He a lot of the creativity in this fight was on him because now that he's in house, he can do that because when he they were explaining that when their animators aren't in house, they just give them a script and they go. The one exception is the next fight. Um, they make that fight as they scripted it, maybe with a little bit of flair in there, but they don't really have time. And Next work, fight, last fight. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, fuck off, man. And then they work, they work back, <laughs> they work back from the kill shot and have to like, because as long as the kill is done, they can cut it in half and just you know keep going. So, but since he's in house, ahead, way ahead of time before they start the schedule for this animation, they can discuss kill shots in person and quickly and they can discuss like these individual bits of flair and all that crap so expect Jets' animation to get really good really fast even if his style maybe doesn't ever get up to hyper gauge standards although it could because having I guess having the facilities that he's going to have access to is going to be a big deal um yeah in terms of actually being able to flex his creative flair he's going to have a lot of creative freedom so it's, it's I mean hell he, he made like custom Sprites and stuff for animations like they they have they have face and stuff. Yeah, they have they have they have a sprider on board though. They have a sprider on board. They were talking about it and they were like working okay. together. So okay. it's a, it's a, still it, though. It, yeah. He, it was his idea. Everything comes. Everything came from Jets. A lot. A lot of the really big things came from him. And it's so lot. he is definitely getting better. Like oh yeah, and but he can all, that people's he, had. And uh, yeah, and he can yeah, uh, just boy. He can flex his creative muscles a lot now. It's really good. Uh. Yeah, in general, the fight was just fast. It hit a lot of beats. Uh, it was very clear in what was happening, even it, as quick as it was, and it was like getting over. What's the sound good? I forget. Sound was pretty good. It wasn't the. Yeah, it, wasn't, it was good. It wasn't the best, but it was good. Tell what fan was hype. Didn't, didn't Brandon do the music for this? I think he did. Oh yeah, I'm still it's not, Yeah, it's it was not, really he, has, good. he hasn't released it on YouTube, but he ha it, he did do the music, so it, pro it probably won't be in the background unless we get lucky. But yeah, it was it was good. It was really good. Uh, and I'm really happy. Right. When when uh, the friend of mine who watches Death Battle, the one friend, uh, he we were talking about. He asked what was the next fight, the, like yesterday, and I said, mm -hmm. and and the conversation looped back around to go back and watch the last two Balrog and Sh Shredder, but skip this one. Skip the one that just happened. Just do it. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, yeah, don't never watch it. Skip one. Never no, skip. no, you skip. Oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, we're moving Let's on. Do it. They finally did it. They find they they've been threatening us with this for ages. They finally did it. It's Smokey versus McGruff. The fight. Why did people want? People it was did. literally one literally guy at a request. at a at a con, and they were obligated to do this. Now. I know. I'm just but wondering because, the mindset you know, they that. they got really into it. They really wanted to do it. And ben and Chad love zany, zany shit. Like they, they said, the death battle is all about like the zany kind they, of fights. In their, in their, when they were talking about it, they said we only do one a year, so this is our one year, so that we don't have to worry about this again for another twelve months if we're lucky, um, maybe Hopefully. more. Yeah, but uh, this is bad. <laughs> this was bad. Uh, in general, it's it falls into the same problem we covered a lot that non-combatants don't fit death battle. Uh, there was a lot of stretches made to give them a competitive arsenal, and just like, oh, look at this. And I mean, I, the, the analysis was fun. I mean, I I personally enjoyed it for like, what? Because I, I didn't go in like taking it seriously. Like, it, it runs into the, into a different issue, in that they tried to do it like Chuck versus Sega, there, where it obviously wasn't serious, and then presented it a hundred percent seriously. And that's yeah. where that's one of the and two. Like the I, joke is that's one of the and two. Like, the, the joke is that it's happening. Not the whole episode isn't the joke. If that makes if like no, it joke. makes that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So that it's a really big issue, especially when they're like, oh look at he's he grows the size of a mountain. That's not artistic stuff at all. It's like that. That's definitely what happened here. Or <laughs> you know, all the shit with the time stops. Like they can definitely stop time, rewind time. And it's just. Even though they, oh, no, both, I mean, even though they've both been shown to be on sets, and like, ah, oh, it's so. Or it's or, or at least with Smokey, the time something like he actually interacted with it. So 
but but with Sm with McGrath, the, yeah, that one was dumb. Yeah, the whole no, the, just like the whole the whole every single power they gave them is done. Done. The monster I'm truck is the monster uh, truck is the giving him a monster truck that is branded off him is dumb. Uh like the only thing that isn't dumb is saying that the bear is a bear and the dog is a dog. And then, I know and people, the bear has a fucking shovel. Yeah, the bear and the dog has a cape, has a coat. There we go. That, <laughs> that, that, there's your fight. Go. And I'm glad that they gave them a bit more arsenal, as stupid as it is. So people are going to be like, "Oh, why are you picking the right. No, no, it's good. It's fine. They did it. It's stupid the way they did it. Yeah, but it's fine. But... It's it's fine for the purposes of the fight. Uh, also, the verdict is kind of inarguable because of the way, not only the way they analyze it being pretty indebatable, but also one is bear, one is dog. Dog kill bear. It's not that hard. Why did we Wait, have bear to kill dog? Where are you? What did the I, episode did you watch? I said bear. <laughs> did I not say bear kill dog? You said dog kill bear. Oh, no, I, no, we'll, let's well, do it. I meant. Back to play or something. <laughs> No, I, oh, I'm, Ned's probably right. It's every play, yes. Med, Ned's probably right. I probably said dog kill bear, in which case I want that dog. Um, yeah, no, bear kill dog. It's not that. It's not that difficult. Um, why did we wait four years? They they went into this fight saying, "Oh, we'll surprise you what they could do," and every people think they have the result figured out because of something so simple. But there's more to it than that. And, it was, and then and it, it was, was exactly what everyone said it was. The main <laughs> the main crux of the argument. Like, the whole powers thing was actually kind of secondary to the fact that one is a bear and one is a dog. <laughs> you know? It's like... Uh, so... So... Like, did McGrath, did McGrath even have, like, anything, like, offensive in that no. fight? Like, he had he, a he, shield and maybe time stop and a, and a fucking truck. Yeah, so he, he, he got in a bit of stopped. offense at the start because he's faster, but then he got bitched out the way. And why, do you, that, why? Why was he faster again? Because exactly? he because yeah, dogs dog? run dogs run faster than bear. Okay. Their entirety of the there is no physical feats for these characters. The entire they just have it's powers. Just it's just bear. a dog. It's a bear and a dog. The bear happens to be able to like go through puberty really really fast, and he also has the ability to stop time. And the dog. Uh, uses the power of friendship to make a feel, uh, force feel like he's some kind of fairy tale character. Happens to have a monster truck and also a coat and a, a the worst time stop I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that is there we go. Uh, as for the animation, Why we oh boy, the animation. Oh, our first. Oh. It's our not first. bad, but it's boring. It's so boring. It is bad. It's not bad in the. It will, okay, it's, yeah, not, it's not I, bad in. It's not bad in I, the. Say it like that. It's and like not, it's an. It's yeah, it, animated well, but it's boring for it. That, there, yeah, there, it, there's no thing I cannot fault in that the animation is clean and flawless and flows well. Uh, there's no animation hiccups. It's very good. However, like the sound design a lot of with, with the the, 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 the cartoony sound design, while it fits, it kind of fits the characters. It does not fit the show. It's not the kind of thing people are here to see, and it gives the hits literally no impact. The only hit that had impact is the final splat when he crushed the truck. It's still not good, you know. It's it there. There was no impact from any hit whatsoever. Like oh, it's a dog. Yeah. It's like it's a cartoon dog and bear. It's like yeah, but that's not what I signed up for. I signed up for a fight. If you're gonna treat this seriously the whole way through and then treat it at the joke as a joke at the business end and then go back to being serious, you know what's the point? Um, yeah. So the sound effects is a big problem, and also it was just a whole load of nothing. It really was yeah. like it was. It felt fillery. This it felt pretty constrained. Yeah, like it, high budget. It, yeah, it was just, and all it was over real quick. And that's just it was because like they just had. That'd just it. be for any like. Mm. Yeah, we we would kind of flash animation fight too. Like, yeah, that's why people are like, oh, I want Bugs versus Mickey to be flash. It's like, while it sounds great in theory, this is kind of proof of concept they can't because they'd have to pay a studio for it, and the budget would be through the roof that they just couldn't make it back. You're better off going sprite based or 3D model with that one because both. Or both. Them. Yeah, because or both they could do they could switch between them. Yeah, with, but, yeah, with, but, with Torian and Jets in the house, they can do that. Yeah, because uh, it's just not possible to fit all their insane shit in a flash animation on screw tax budget. But you know, it's just not possible to make a satisfying you mean fight. Rooster Teeth budget? No, because the, the was, <laughs> yeah, I know, I I, I, I know, but I don't. No, no, no jokes okay. for this one. No jokes for this one at all. This is <laughs> okay. 
This is a serious podcast. This is a serious <laughs> yes, podcast. We're, we're talking about serious we're, podcast. Also, the, my biggest issue with this fight isn't really to do with the production itself, more the fact that it exists. And not even because it's a joke fight, it's because it's so limited in scope. Every other death battle kind of. Like, it appeals to whoever's watching, it's going to appeal to them. Um, even if they don't know about the characters, they're going to learn about it. What does someone from, say, I don't know, Ireland, care about American symbols of safety? We don't. We don't get. I don't, no one gets no, I don't even know. I didn't even know Ms. McGruff was a thing until Death Battle came out. And I. I... Med, med? I'm disgusting. Yeah, you cut out there. You didn't know about him. You're American. Okay, I guess what you said. I'm gonna assume. Oh, wait, I didn't know about McGruff. I didn't even know McGruff thing until this came out. Or was announced. Hmm. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, because they're, they're not only that, they're... But, they're, yeah, I was just kind of, like... They're old, too, aren't they? Like, they, they, they? They're not used as much anymore, right? Right. No, so, they're still okay. used. Loki, like, is a name everyone remembers. So prominent, but... McGruff is not like as you don't really see him. Horse fires. McGruff is more for like kids and stuff. Like he'll go to like schools and and talk to people in like a a mascot or something. Or for like if if like the police come, like Smo like McGruff will show up. But Smokey, he has like a full on black. And now since all of Washington, Oregon, and California is on fire, he's like everywhere now. Well, that, okay, that makes sense because from what they were saying, he's really, really old, like forty. Wasn't it what forties old? So he'd be kind of a cultural he's... icon by now. But McGruff is only like thirty or forty years old. Yeah, so he, and it, he he's wouldn't like be for near... young, young kids. Yeah, so he wouldn't be near as you know. And also, yeah, he's like the that... Stranger Danger, like elementary school. He'll show up to like. He Tell kids about like stranger so, danger. What I'm gathering like, from what, what I'm gathering from this is he should have fought Elmo instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> Elmo calls in Big Bird for the assist. All right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we're the three fights in. Yeah, and forty. So minutes. last oh. uh oh, last step so, uh, This no, one. Last... I... Yeah. Yeah. No, this they're just last, actually hyped last for thoughts. this one. I don't remember being hyped oh, la- for Oh, oh, last thoughts. Mac wants to do last wild. thoughts. So, uh, yeah, I don't like. Oh, yeah. I don't like smoking versus McGruff at all. I, I, don't, I, I don't like it. Yeah, I, hyper, I, I don't like it. I, I, it's, I, it's, it's still Pinkie Pie. Yeah, it's better than that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, and it's, that's the best I could say for it. Yeah, it's not the worst death battle ever, but it's up there with them. <laughs> it's know? over with. Yeah, that that's the best part about it is we never have it's to. It's done. It's like we are I'm with so the cool it's, 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 man rabbit. They're doing that as a DBX, and also I'm looking forward oh, to that because the ra- the Macho Man is yes. Um, <laughs> although, okay. if you that's want if you want to know what, have an idea what their next goofy death battle might be, they were talking about one of the death battle cast that seems to keep getting uh, momentum. Uh, every like they, they as they were talking about, it, they seem to get more excited about it. Was the avatars of uh, Sylvester Stallone versus the avatars of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like all oh, of that's them, com- funny. all of them composite into one character. Yeah, I that like would... that. I like the yeah, idea I, of that. I, that I sounds cool. Like that. Yeah, that sounds cool. It has. Yeah, that... Although they have, they've pointed out the one problem with it. You know, he, he's a bit of the Terminator. How does how does how does Rocky stop the Terminator? I don't think he stops him in the last round. If that's what, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But yeah, I'd actually be, I'd actually be down for that. Yeah, it'd be uh, cool. It'd be cool because like you can have Arnold Schwarzenegger running around being pregnant, and Rambo's trying to kill him, and then he suddenly turns into a robot, <laughs> and then they are uh, their buddies because they're in Expendables, but then they the one each other. The one and... Yeah, it could this be. This could be their next He-Man versus Lion-O. It could be. It could be He-Man vs. Lino and Chuck, and Chuck Norris vs. Sega Sancho's little baby. Except, you know, definitive winner, death by robot, Terminator gets his win back, that kind of shit. Um, yeah, okay, so the other Death Battle that Death Battle cast brought up that they might do is uh, Black Panther vs. Batman, because when they did it as a community Death Battle, they couldn't think of a proper answer. So, Batman dies again. Uh, <laughs> uh... Yeah, he, he Batman dies. Uh, anyway, moving All on. Right. Thor versus Wonder Woman. God tier Wonder Woman theme, go. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that in first. 
Although the end credits theme for Tor, the first one, is god tier as well. So it's like one of my favorite MCU tracks, which is insane. Watch, but you know. no, uh, it really isn't. But yeah, it really <laughs> it, it's, isn't. I love Tor's soundtrack. It's like it fits him so well, unlike the other MCU teams, which are so like basic. His is all basic bombastic. superhero. It, yeah, but his is all bombastic, and it seems like it's this whole other. Spider-Man: Homecoming had good tracks, though. Less, less. No, it's okay. Yeah, okay. So anyway, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this fight. Thor versus Wonder Woman. This is a real. This is a good matchup thematically, and I like both the characters. Yeah, I'm actually he, excited for Marvel. And it, for a long time, it, I would argue it's actually closer than most people like give it credit for. But yeah, the winner is kind of clear. The winner is kind of clear, but it is a lot closer. If that makes sense, it's like there's a clear winner, I but that's doesn't. Yeah, Mac, it is. I know you love Wonder Woman, uh, but it's close. Tor. No, I love Thor too. I love yeah. Thor too. Uh, to be honest, it's, to be honest, it's I think the, I think this fight is rather clear cut, except for one thing, and that depends on that battle. Wonder Woman's faster, but Thor has pretty much every other advantage. Uh, speed, uh, strength, hacks. What's the okay? What was the? Oh, so we got a little bit of debate on our dad here. Discord, what? The dump, uh, what, what? They, what were the speeds they gave them in the season one? Oh yeah, no, fuck that. Oh, but, oh no. The, yeah, this is no. basically, yeah basically, I know. I don't want to talk about it, but someone will bring it up. Oh, yeah. They, uh, no. if, if you go by what they gave them season one wise, Tor's going to stomp anyway. So that's, that's just that. Like, they, but one, I, one I, like has they, literally yeah. nothing for him. Literally yeah. nothing. He, she has no hope uh, whatsoever if that happens. Like, if, oh my god, why would they do this but, if they're going to keep but, their stats? Hopefully, they friend, get a little bit better. Have been, they have been said then. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the third and episode ever. They have shown they they aren't Little afraid bit. to contradict themselves. Although, oh, no, can I just point? This is going to be the ultimate ditch, uh, contradictory episode, like ever. Like that. no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. Even even if Wonder Woman gets a shit kicked in, and she probably will be. Uh, yeah. Um, I think there's multiple reasons why Thor is going to win. Uh, first of all, the bullshit of Mjolnir is like undeniable. It's mm. no, like it's legitimately fucking insane. Just the amount of powers it has. Yeah, uh, but they're not all really that. Of and it's like making portals. Okay. Ma okay, magic nullification for a start is super handy against Wonder Woman, who's like. Yeah, awesome. but it it didn't. It's not really against the Juggernaut that much. All it did was okay. First of all, it required prep. He had to remove Mjolnir, and Mjolnir just kind of like automatically encircled the battlefield, taking and it turned off. Juggernaut's uh, invincible force field, which is impressive, but Juggernaut still had like all of his magically gifted fucking stat and shit. And it was something that he doesn't, and he hasn't used that since. Doesn't mean he won't be able to ever use that again. But it's, I guess it's that's, not something. That's kind of the point of uh, a point of a lot of Mjolnir's powers is they only show once or twice. But god damn, not, it does no, a lot of shit. It I does. Mean, it did a lot of shit. Yeah, but it. And yeah, they toned it down like all the shit in more recent eras, but that doesn't mean he can't. Yeah, I'm just saying that it's not like like someone who, as like someone like Doctor Strange who turns up other people's magic like, like higher tier. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying that Tor Tor is like the most hacksiest bastard in all of Marvel, but like I mean, compare it to what Wonder Woman's hacks. Is, uh, I think Silver Surfer is a little bit crazier, yeah, but that's just because he's fucking uh, yeah. I, I, Your cosmic is stupid, retarded. I <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. But no, Thor is like, it, like, especially when compared to someone who's pretty basic, like Wonder Woman. Yeah, he, he does a lot of insane shit. Uh, in terms of stat wise, Thor is just flat out better in a lot of stats. Obviously, Wonder Woman has speed, and um, but Thor seems to take like everything else, even experience, which is a stat in death battle for some reason. He has, it's not, he has DC by far. He it's has not, DC. By yeah. like a long shot, especially at like, um, especially when he goes into like he, he channels like all the pe magic inside Mjolnir. Because if you don't know Mjolnir, he ha it has like a literal galaxy-sized fucking storm inside of it that gave Odin trouble. Because of that, whenever Thor channels like his life force into the hammer and draws out like god blasts and shit, it's able to like harm people that are far above Thor's normal pay grade, like fucking Galactus and or hungry Galactus, but still like. Um, and Skyfather level Hung two. Hungry, so Hungry Galactus he... is still going to solo every other hero on Earth exactly. except for him. You know, Hungry Galactus still 
takes out like everybody we've seen in death battle so far minus like goku but i'm vegeta oh, and vegeta and vegeta yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> and see, all, and i suppose alter i suppose alternate versions of superman maybe uh, spawn maybe spawn the, yeah. the the very strongest forms of spawn to be clear Bond, yeah, yeah, but yeah. If 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 a god blaster like you know, which with Thor puts like all of his force behind like the god blast, and if it collides with Diane, she's atomized. Like it's yeah. there's no question. It, bracelets are like the bracelets will help, but they won't save her. <laughs> Not uh, it. I mean, the, there's they, a chance it could save her, but it's Thor, slim. Th no, Thor has Thor has the ultimate like. Um, he has the ultimate power, basically. He has... With the bracelets, Diana, like... Like, there's been a whole bunch of videos. Like, a, um... What's his face? It's Imaginary Axis. He did a really good video of talking about unobtainable medals and stuff. He... When he did his research, he couldn't find an ex a single example of it being broken. So At least that, the, the post-crisis version. It's, so, it's so it, less that it will be broken, I, I don't and more that I won't really defend it, it from everything. Well, yeah, if, if they collide with her, it, when she crosses her, her wrist, force field, it channels, like, Zeus's ages, and Zeus is a Skyfather tier in DC. He's, he's, he's mad powerful, and this was, like, his shield. And it, and she some made, like, a, a force field that goes around here, too. Um, like, like an omnidirectional force field, like a bubble. Uh, but it's protected her against, like, neck... He's, like, he's responsible for the whole Blackest Night shit, and he fought, like, the Anti-Monitor. So that's, like, a Skyfather level tier being. It protected him from a, all of Olympus. Um, so, it, yeah, like, if it's at least as powerful as Zeus, that's, like, like you know, at, at the most casual, it's still, like, kind of, like, Skyfather level. Mm -hmm. uh, it protected her from Kronos, who is... I think even stronger than Zeus. It protected her from Ares, and Ares is like mad fucking powerful, and it was like within Ares's own room. So she has, okay, her her normal durability isn't up to the test to defend against Thor's best shit like at all. But with the for, bracelets, probably, mo probably most most of Thor's shit, safer. to be honest. Yeah, uh, probably most of Thor's shit. But the issue is Thor's gonna have to hit her, and she's faster. You know. Uh, yeah. So the three like the stats go like thor has dc by far um even without like you know his god blast and stuff he still should be like he still should be stronger um even with like because wonder woman is more reliant on scaling whereas thor on uh, himself he has like two solid feats that are multi-sources both like almost exactly Plus, the same he's They're also both, like 300 foe whereas he's all, at best yeah, he's, he uh... to like at best, she scales to like one kilofo, but even then, Thor has like two Mjolnirs, and he was like shaking the what? stars, and it came out to like thirteen kilofo. But yeah, so he used two. So even if we divide that by two, that's six kilofo. So he's still quite a bit stronger, like six times stronger at best for Wonder Woman. And that's not that's not with the God Blast. And the God Blast on top of that is more, more, just more. <laughs> the thing with the God Blast is it's still kind of like it's like it, it's a straight beam from his his thing, and he has to like gather his energy too to do that. He like he has to channel into the hammer, like at least from the ball. examples I've seen. He's apparently also able to do that with his hands, but I don't know if it yeah, was I I know I I know he's done it, but it was harder and probably it, it was yeah. it was it was far less powerful, and he did it, and he only KO'd a guy who wasn't like like Skyfather at all. Um. But he's still stronger. Durability like, is he gets, pro durability. It's him too. It's him yeah. too. If we're talking about standard durability, but if we're talking about like with the bracelets involved, she'll get it. But that's if she gets like her, sh which we could maybe say she gets that up because she has I a really see, good reaction. I did. I didn't. I, did, I didn't research this, uh, but yeah. I have seen it. Uh, I'm not it doesn't want. Uh, very sorry, quiet. Yeah, you sorry, might know to be very quiet. I don't no comics much about yeah okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you'll have your time um no uh, Basically, the, this is me and max circle talks about fighting game. yeah, yeah th this is me and max circle jerking right now uh, yeah. so yeah i haven't researched this but i remember seeing it when i was reading a one-on-one comic ages ago and i haven't it, uh, 
isn't there, like, since the whole Zeus thing came out, can't she, like, take off her bracelets for a power-up? That's a new 52 thing. If she yeah. takes that up, then she gets, like, quite an unquantifiable boost. And she was able to... Okay, so, you you know uh, Super Doom, when Superman got, like, the Doomsday virus and turned yeah, Super but Doom it's and new Yeah, but it's new 52 Doomsday, but yeah. He was... Yeah, it, it's... No, but when, when it's a Superman, like, boost to it, it's like a boost on top yeah, of that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I know, but to... what, wasn't Superman holding back at the time because Doomsday? Because he didn't want to hurt people because Doomsday? No, he was kind of like, I have to scan, I, I didn't read the story, but it's like, he, I read... he was kind of like going berserk a bit, and she overpowered him and dragged him to space. And this was the same, like, it, it, this was the same Superman who took the black hole and shit. Yeah. So, as strong as fucking Megaphone or whatever, what? but she's able to overpower like Super Doom, and, yeah. and she also like what like she was she fought also like a uh, Artemis who's one of the uh, the goddesses of Olympus, but she's not like fucking Ares or Zeus or Poseidon tier. Even, yeah, even in the who mid, would, she's like, not that strong. Fucked, or Hades, yeah, yeah. So um, it's an unquantifiable boost. It's an unquantifiable boost if she takes just, that off. Yeah, so that's, honest, because... that, that's that, probably hitting the notes of the fight. Just guessing, she's probably going to be able to defend from most of the tour shit with the without the, the with the bracelets on, and then take it off to try and like keep up because she's getting overpowered. And obviously that'll be that could doom. be that could be yeah, one that, to do that. that that'll be her doom with the god blast. That's just me t hinting at the animation. That's me thinking animation wise. Uh, but yeah, um. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of beats this fight, but in general, I think Tor with two parts of stat energy better, better more obvious feats because like he's level plants like clearly on his own, whereas Wonder Woman hasn't, and he just has more feats of his own, you know. Um. Yeah. Um. Your arsenal. Oh, Mac 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 died and came back to life. Uh, oh, yeah. there we are. Yeah, 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 I got phone yeah. calls somehow because I'm doing this from my phone. I guess that kicks me out. My bad. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, you were saying. Yeah, I think Tor having two 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 thirds of the stats in in his corner, uh, pr durability not as comfortably, but uh, the biggest gap is probably physical in the, physical durability. Phys yeah, physical dur yeah, durability. Durability. Slight, yeah. slight margin. Slight margin. Slight without, margin. At least without yeah, the bracelets are one on one's hope there. Um. Then there's speed, which is one of ones, obviously, because DC heralds are just faster than Marvel heralds in general. Really fast. As, as a general rule. Um, and uh, DC is obviously Taurus, because he's just... Whoa. Uh, but, and obviously he has more hacks. I his think, standard... Yeah, I mean, like, his his, his super, like, shit. Yeah, like, it's his yeah. best shit is obviously above her. But his casual stuff, it's still above her, but it's not, like... As like, much. He has he has clear uh, feet. Still, it's still clear. It's still yeah. clear, like... Like she would be like not happy getting like hit yeah. to the head with Mjolnir. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, he has clearer feats. Um, he's level plants uh, on his own. One woman hasn't, which you know you know how Depal is with clearer feats and shit. Um, yeah, and he's, he's just more done more insane shit. And one of the scat things that Depal were looking at, uh, Nick had a, like for it. I think it was for this fight, or it was an upcoming fight. So I'm going to assume this one. And uh, Nick was uh, looking into stuff for it, and Sam. And uh, when they're researching, they actually had uh, the whole office around them, and they put a picture up of them looking up shit for uh, for this fight, and yeah. they were just freaking, or, and they were just freaking out over stuff they do. And it's like, yeah, that's probably Tor. It sounds like Tor because Tor comics go places. Um, no, but I mean, they could like they could see like the fucking shattered gods. Yeah, it could, it could, ridiculous. Could, it could be God Wave. God Wave is a big player. In this God game. Wave too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is that's one Woman's key to victory. It's about the only way I think she can properly. While she, while the other stuff we mentioned has her survive, God okay. Wave is her victory condition. Uh, I could go over a little bit. So like, yeah, yeah, do that. So, then I'll go back to what I was saying. Yeah. So as for like regular God, has to like ask the gods for permission to use that. It's kind of like, okay, so it's not like it's not like a. I don't know how to explain. It. Okay, so it's kind of like if I were to be like Samurai Jack asking for his ancestors' help to power up his sword. That's kind of what God, how Godway with works for her. And even then, it gives her like an unquantifiably higher on top of that. And then she was able to power, overpower like uh, Rama, who is like a um, he's like a Hindu hero, and he was like being possessed by Kali, who is like one of of death in 
in Hinduism, but it's hard to say exactly how powerful they are if they're like actually Skyfather level tiers. Although, like they that story where they meet up as like kind of like equal pantheon. So I don't know exactly, but it, it, it's a good. Uh, it's a, and without like channeling the god way through her body, there's at least like one example where she had like a sword that had the god wave in it. So if if they get maybe that would help too. Like I actually didn't know god wave required permission, so they're probably just gonna not give it to her at all. So she's fucked. Hey, hey but no, that's not what I was getting at. Um. Uh, know, besides that, she does have like removing her bracelets, and the lasso of truth can actually be pretty yeah, fucking haxy too a, a friend of mine a friend of mine it, one question because i haven't actually seen this addressed does she still have the weakness to being tied up by men or did that go away that's that i think that was more of like a pre-crisis thing like from the golden age because literally it's the most sexy thing in the world yes no oh, yeah. no not just that the guy who created it was like a super into bondage like that was his fetish well <laughs> so that, that's that and fucking threesomes he was in he had two like they, he, he, he had two wives and they were also you know, it was like a tree three way relationship. It was super weird. Yeah. Anyway, but, yeah. that's not one again that. Yeah. Although a friend of mine brought up if they bring that back in for whatever reason. Uh, Wonder uh, Woman, the no. pinnacle of feminism. <laughs> created <laughs> created no. by a guy, guy. by women. I know that that's them up. Appa- apparent, apparently uh what's it called? The two women he was with well, obviously they knew of each other and loved each other as well. But also, like, they were a huge help in him getting in the mindset of Wonder Woman and was just as big of the creative process as him. Uh, yeah. That's what, what I've read. But no, that's not what I'm getting at. Um, with that, although, before I get sidetracked, my the friend that, that I was talking to this about with came up with a really cool idea for the fight if they keep that in, in that Wonder Woman could go for the lasso of truth and then yeah. it could, like, hit Mjolnir. And then Wellnir could tie her up with the lasso, like flying around her. That would be pretty funny. That would be pretty funny and cool. And then uh, that would lead into a kill shot, which would be kind of lame. And also, you know, it's going to get her all of the hate. So I really wanted that. Yeah. I really that wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no. Uh, but it's, it's also likely that she could just yeah. wield Mjolnir, and then that would just That's be what I was the getting pinnacle at. of bullshit, I, too. I was getting at that in a crossover story. It was a vote-based crossover story between Marvel and DC. Uh, we've, it's been brought up a couple of times by Depp Alum Cells and all that crap. And uh, yeah, at the time, Wonder Woman was fighting was fighting Storm, as in the as from the X-Men. Yeah. And uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Was Thor fighting Superman? It was Thor. It Thor fought Superman in another one. I don't think that was the voice crossovers. Who, I don't think that was the vote-based one. He, Superman fought Hulk in that one. And that was the Thor same fight where Thor didn't fight anybody, I don't think. He was there, though. He was there, yeah. Because uh, he was definitely he eventually, there. He definitely have fought Superman in one of them. Yeah. And then, well, he, he was definitely there for this one at the very least, because one of the more infamous panels from it is uh, what's called Mjolnir ends up, ends up by Wonder Woman, and she picks it up and wields yeah. it. And, and it's actually really a, a, a really cool art of her. Like she, Her appearance changes and all, which makes no sense until recently, but... It makes sense now, she get, but she gets a yeah. winged helmet. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she gave it up because she wanted to fight Storm on her own terms and without power-ups. And then she lost because vote based. <laughs> um, Which could it, it could be that could be like I've, I've been thinking about how they'll treat that in a while. First of all, they could just not address it and could point out it just exists. Like, they could address it. They could just ignore it. Yeah, but yeah, they could ignore it. They, they could they, they could, could just point say it. like. They could say, like, oh, look at all these pure hearted people who picked it up, like Captain America. Uh, but, and, and if there's anyone who's pure hearted of all the DC people, it'll be Wonder Woman or some other bullshit logic. But like that's, that, that's not whoever, how it works. That's literally whoever, not how it works. Whoever picked to be, like, plot. <laughs> it's basically yeah. whoever reels it. Uh, no, the, the conditions. Honestly, one woman wielding it wouldn't be the worst thing compared to some of the other people who wielded it. Like, she, she's basically a feat. Well, it's more like Thor is a male Wonder Woman. They're, they're very similar characters. But, yeah. Uh, no. But it's, it's well, made for I, I think they, they, they have a couple whoever ways possesses. Yeah. There's a couple or, ways or they're going to go about it. There, there's a couple ways of going about it. 
Uh, they're not going to address it. They're going to address it, but tell us it was from a non-canon crossover comic. So yeah. going to count it. Because they did that before with Captain America vs. Batman. Exactly. I was about yeah. to mention that. Yeah. But no. The other, the other two options are they could use it and have like Thor take it back off or like he wields it more or whatever. Or just mm -hmm. have it in the animation. Have Wonder Woman give it back because she did in that comic and wants to fight him under her own power and doesn't want the extra help. That could happen. But finally... It could be or they wing. just give it to her. Yeah, they give, give it. it to her, and it's her wing condition. It's probably her best wing condition with God Wave so up in the air. Yeah, it is up in the air. Yeah. Truth, too. So, so Lasso so, of Truth, it's actually pretty... It, depending it's, on like how you interpret it... Well, not even how you interpret it, because it is it is pretty hacks. It's just she character used the hacks and stuff just because she's kind of like a good person. But when... Hip, so when you lasso somebody, you actually lasso their soul. So it's like you can't turn and escape it. Um, so when you lasso it, like she has like the choice of like destroying their soul as well. And we see that it can also also like affects people like on the scale of like Ares. And Ares, he like he was able to he it forced him to like kind of like it was kind of like a mind rapey kind of thing where he was of his actions and. Ares being like really fucking powerful as he is, we know that the lasso can affect, you know, really fucking strong people. So even yeah. though Thor has really potent like soul, like his, his soul is like really strong, he has, he has high yeah, he, willpower, and he has just because he's I, an Asgardian. He's, I, I, like, get, I get where you're coming immune. from. He's not only Asgardian, he's half Asgardian, sure. half like another kind of god. So he's pretty, yeah, he's, so, even for Asgardians, he's not this strong. Um, but no. The thing, Thor has loads of resistance feats, so I think he could probably withstand it enough to free himself at Mjolnir. But so yeah, but but resistance is stuff that affects like Skyfather dudes. Like yeah. I don't, I generally don't know, and that's why there's a lot of I don't. I feel like it's closer. I do still give it to Thor, just because his range with like his weather manipulation and on top of his he just, just physically powerful. More. Yeah, he just it's has just, more stuff, and also it's just it's just. The odds that they give Wonder Woman speed, I think, over Thor is insanely low because hers is scaling and his is feats. And they no, only last time they gave him if they give him the Shatter God, which is like like her best feat, and she did it herself. If they give that to her, that would put her like sixty thousand times faster. Her reaction is not like they're not gonna give it sixty to her, times they didn't, faster. They didn't even put the Flash or Superman that high. They're not well, Superman's infinite, and the Flash is pretty much close to that. But they're not gonna give it to her. They just aren't. Wait, can't they? Well, no, faster because there's also the thing that says that she's faster. Her reactions are faster than Superman. That famous panel where they're talking with Batman, where she's like Muhammad Ali, and and Superman's like Usain Bolt. Yeah, but you know, the, every time this comes, and we're up, also, and I also ev every Martin single time this, logic. yeah, so, yeah, every but, single time this comes up with them, they always bullshit that the like the characters are lying or underestimating Superman, and Superman's always holding back, which. Which even a lot, said, a lot still... of time, a lot of times, that's not even wrong. They aren't even, like yes, their mm -hmm. their their interpretation of Superman is entirely wrong. But that assumption that characters are often downplaying Superman, that's not wrong either. It's just he's not as strong as they make him out to be. I know we're we're, we're arguing like death battle we're, logic. Yeah, so they're, 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 this is when you know the debate is over. <laughs> for this <laughs> for this fight especially, it's it's really hard to. I mean, yeah, if, they give, if they do give the speed feet, I don't know if they're just going to say because Superman never showed to be that fast, but as far, by, as far as their calculations go, but that's like... They still have... The, like, they, they're still going to get... Like, clear-cut feet, too. They're going to and, give her the feet that they gave Superman Superman vs. Goku 1. That so one that, too, That's yeah. a plus. But Thor has better feats than that, and they'll probably be given them. But here's the... Will that conflict with the whole... The only person that Thor has fought, fought that's that fast is Sentry, and Hulk, er, and Hulk and Thor fight a lot. And as we all know, faster than light is a rarity in Marvel. I want to die. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is um yeah. So in general, we think Thor wins. We think even by death battle logic, Thor wins. But there's a lot of question marks all I over the place. I do think death I think logic. he I think he has too much even by death I think logic. it's a but I think Death Valley I, I, could I easily think, just say, I think in Death Valley could easily just say, Oh, she's got a fucking sword that cuts Adam so she could bypass durability or, or something like that. Does she? Death Valley logic, she, well, she's got an Adam, she's got a sword that can, like, 
cut the electron off an atom. That's how sharp it is. But that's that's doesn't yeah. really for. That's not. Logic, that doesn't really get. Yeah, yeah, that's not good enough. Uh, yeah, um, but yeah. for death battle logic, who knows? Yeah, who knows? But I think I think I think Tor has it and, even by death battle logic. But I think they're they're gonna get the stat idea right that Wonder Woman's faster and Tor is stronger and has more of everything else. But they're going to get the mount wrong, which is pretty much all I have. Pet scale, it's like more fight scale or something like that. Like I doubt it because I doubt it because even though she fought with Superman for a thousand years and all that shit, which they're gonna give her, she's not been alive as long. Taurus been fighting longer. He's been fighting much, much longer. You can't really bullshit that. Even then, that, even then, if, I mean, even then, there's still really, like really, she has really more be head to head and more. I'm talking more we, on panel displays of like hand-to-hand -hand combat or like you know, more you different know types as of well, weapons. You know as well as I do that shit barely matters because Taurus statements I know the same way. Yeah, yeah I mean I mean even by their logic. I mean even by no, their logic because of Taurus statements. No logic. They're both like they're both you know like some of the been most members of their team like if that makes any sense. Like they're centuries, centuries old warrior folk. Would it really be that much of a difference? It's fighting ability, I don't know, because he's gone up yeah. against like experience wise they're basically the same. Yeah, it's it, they they're both they're both old enough That's... and have fought long enough that you really shouldn't like say one of them has experience over the other. It makes no sense. Yeah, like even like even go into like the whole like thousands of years thing, like yeah, it's Wonder Woman fought like the same type type thousands of years and Thor fought fucking frost giants and not much else for thousands of years. And then since joining like the Avengers and Justice League, that's where their main experience and fuck loads of diversity. I think like, comes I think play. the key difference is the key difference is gonna come in how they're written. Uh, in the just in both their own comics, obviously they're the shit. But in the Justice League comics, Wonder Woman a lot of the time takes the backseat to the more bullshit members like Superman and Flash. Sometimes the Lanterns, who she's pretty much stronger than, but she she does just take a backseat. She does badass shit, but there's, it's often there's more less, damn. There's less, like, crossovers where she's, like, the focus, you're right. Like, yeah, they, she's, they, there's she's no, downplayed like, Black at Night. There's she's no down... Yeah, that's rare. For, like, yeah. what, there's Amazon's attack, which was fucking awful. <laughs> that's basically it. Yeah, although, yeah. But Tor, on the other hand, is pretty much his team's Superman. A lot of the times, when they need a big gun, they point Tor at it. Even, even when Hulk doesn't do the job, you know? So, that, that difference in how they're written may well be the difference in the end of it all. If that makes sense. It may be. It, no, it, it totally. It, it, yeah. It's just... Also, it can, just like before, a, a, before we move on, can I just mention that... We really need to move on. Yeah, before we move on, can I just mention we that... Uh, yeah, with, with Femtor aside and all the shit with her, everything involving Odinson and Diana for like the past five or six years has been fucking great. So these two characters getting oh, yeah. a spotlight. These two characters getting a spotlight together is great because, with the exception of Tor two, I don't think these guys, these two characters, have put like a foot wrong in terms of quality. And I suppose Batman. I mean, unless Super you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Batman, <laughs> Batman vs Superman, but, but she Wonder Woman was, was the good part. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So these two characters are like the epitome of quality, uh, at least in terms of their series. Like, they, you don't get much higher. So I'm glad. I'm glad these two are getting. Focused. That people still like to bitch about her being with Superman instead of like whoever instead of Batman. What the the relationship they had in the New Fifty Two, but that was legitimately <laughs> good. That was legitimately good, you know. Oh, but it didn't match the cartoon. Uh, the, the Batman shit was only the cartoon, and it went nowhere in that canonically. He fucking no. slept with Barbara Gordon instead. Which, by the way, Batman, you're a moron, redhead or not. <laughs> uh, oh no, Dick, get cucked. Uh, dick got cooked. Dick got dick. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. We're. Uh. I think we've we, we've uh we we have, long enough. we've gone way too long. Yeah. <laughs> we have. Yeah, we, this is gonna, this is going to be a bumper episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we got through the the gist. This is just DBX's at one yeah. minute. I think there's pretty literally straight, only we? one fight here that I actually want to talk about a bit and something. But other than that, it's just like. Yeah, it's D it's DBX and one man melee. There won't be much to talk. Yeah, okay. I'm just so trying to figure just, out where is what. Okay, yeah, I know what's what. Okay, good. Go. Guts versus Kirito. One man melee first. It's and, like the most basic shit, and it didn't even it, it didn't do its job right. Guts. Yeah, 
It didn't do its job right, and that oh, gets yeah, completely stomped. I forgot the Black Knights. Oh God! Oh, oh God! No! Oh no! Oh no! The entire fucking premise of this fight is to see who is the better <laughs> black swordsman, but in the actual animation, held there by the Black Knight. How the <laughs> f you get that wrong? <laughs> Death Metal doesn't even do that most of the, most of the time. Oh no, they do, but this one was pretty bad. No, no, most of, well, the, most they, of the they time. Don't, no, and they no. don't fuck up that royally. This that, is just that. this is this is just missing the point completely. They barely ever do that. Mostly they, when they it involves Deadpool. <laughs> in the first few seconds of the episode where they introduce the characters, they don't do that. It's like it's like it's having just, a, it's like it's having it's Samus versus Bo Swordsman. It's like having Samus versus Baba introduced with robots are fucking cool. So here's two guys in power armors. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not that's not it at all. Um, yeah, as for the fight itself, it was decently animated, but it didn't do the job everyone wanted. In that everyone just wanted to see Guts stomp Kirito. We all know who but, this point. but obviously Guts was going to win. But if you're going to have an even fight, why not have Kirito win for the salt? I don't understand. I'm glad he didn't. But like, if you're going oh, to go, no, if you're if you're not going that, to go, I'm if upset. you're not, they should have had the salt would have been fantastic. I would have laughed. I would have <laughs> but cried. If you're going, if you're going to make it an even it fight, is, but I would have fucking laughed. If if you're going to make it an even fight instead of just sixty seconds of that of like expanding on that one comic panel of Kirito hiding behind a tree and then the hole goes through it and through the hole is guts. Yeah, if you're not <laughs> if you're not just going to expand on that, yeah, don't don't watch the point. It was it's just a, it's just it was there. It's just a shout out for. Fans basically, ba yeah, basically this fight is just missed potential. It's still not and bad, so but it, it's, there's a lot yeah. of missed potential. Alright, uh, we don't even see the kill shot, god damn it. Oh yeah, we don't! Yeah, okay, here versus Kia. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, th yeah. this, ha this happened. I, I have no comment, really. It was pretty cool. Two, it was fun. two it was good cool. series, two cool characters. Uh, yeah, it was fine. Can't uh, complain. And finally, a fucking... DB, uh, if I, uh, Hunter x Hunter character loses, like they they've been going on like pretty good for a while there, from what I remember. Yeah. The, isn't Miro M the guy the guy who beat Cell? Yeah, Hunter that's, that's oh yeah, he beat that's Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, that's still very weird. He won. Gone won. Was there another one? Oh yeah, Gone won that fight. Uh, Kilo uh, beat, beat Sasuke. Wasn't that DBX? That was well, DBX, and it was horrible. Weird. And that was oh, Hunter yeah. X. Uh, that was you. you no, they them. they happened in both, didn't they? No, no. Sasuke happened twice. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. The Sasuke fought Ichigo in one minute. Yeah, like, Bleach. Yeah, and that was that was probably the best Sasuke fight of them all. Which is yeah, eh. which is pretty bad. <laughs> sad to say. Sasuke yeah. has so much cool shit you can do with him. It's the one re redeeming part of the guy existing, and no one capitalized on it. Uh, okay. That's right. All right. Shante versus Philia. Uh, is this the one you wanted to talk about, Med? No. No. I thought. You, I thought. Oh yeah, you're not one. Hey, this was boys. good. You're not one. It's okay. Yeah, it was fine. I think that the, the there was a bit of. One. Yeah, there was like, girls I, I, like, I like the interact. Uh, yeah. About, about time a Skull Girls character like lost again. Did, did one lose before? No. No. I don't think so. Wait, Valentine. Oh, Peacock. Peacock won. Valentine lost, didn't she? Or was it Valentine who yeah, Yes, lost. she lost to Ibuki. Yes. Okay, so it's a second. So another two for two. Two two. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, it was a fine fight. I think there's a bit of a disconnect in the Shantae sprites because they clearly changed between yeah. the scene and the fight itself, which is fair, but you know it's obvious. And the fight itself was intriguing, but not that inspired. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Oh, this just kind of. Yeah. This is this is kind of getting repetitive. Uh, Mario versus what, Sonic. Like, yeah, I've said this before. This one moment, there isn't really much to talk about uh, anymore with it. It's just, oh, this fight was good. Yeah, it's there's they don't have anything that stands out in a lot of these fights, and they, they used to be something they were really good at. You know, a great all example right. would be like the Mario versus Sonic one. First of all, I called it. <laughs> you did. I'm called, very surprised. Mario, oh. on you for calling. That, that, yes. reminds me, that reminds me. That reminds me of one more thing. Perfect. That reminds me of one oh. more thing on Thor versus Wonder Woman. Is that uh, I know we're going backtracking. Yeah, Marvel's really do a win, which is another if you're going for team for a reason. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, like, but 
Thank last time they won was what? Kid. Doom? Is Doom the last time they won? The last time? Yeah. I don't know, honest. No, no. Venom. Venom! Yeah, okay, never mind. They're not as you win as I thought. Never mind. Okay. That that point's dead. Um, anyway, All right. Yeah. Here's Mario, the one Mario versus I was fine. going to talk about. Okay. That, First that... of all, yeah, it, this is this is just kind of one of those basic bitch like how to versus 101 type matches to get into. It's just it's just one of the most popular things. Yeah. It exists, and with that said, could you do a little bit more with with the ship besides them just punching each other? It looked good, but like we're yeah, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic stuff. So we're, Sonic we're stole the show, Sonic. let's be honest. He yes. did, yeah. Yeah, Sonic did a load of cool shit. Um, although Mar Mar cool Mar shit too, but Mar Mario, Mario came... hitting him off the but wall the was pretty cool. But other than that, Mario yeah. didn't do much. He just kind of stood Mario around. winning felt great. Yeah. yeah. And, the Sonic, but, and like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm the, neutral. The right? Sonic franchise for all of its ups and downs, like, it's always fun to, like, it has, it has some good games, and even when it's bad, it's always fun to make fun of it. But I just like Mar the Mar more, and Mario never wins these things. Yeah, it's nice. He, he really it's, doesn't. It's nice that Mario finally gets a win. Like Mario this. verse in in general sometimes, it like Peach one down play pretty so bad. Peach hard. one and Bowser keeps winning in these one man this Thank Christ. Great. Uh, yeah, if, if all if anyone deserves it. But then yeah, you have a point. That Bowser D versus DDD win. Ah, uh, soon. Oh, yeah, you have. Hopefully. You you have a you have a next season. You have a point though that Mario did like in terms of like correcting wrongs in the universe. Mario deserves to win, but when, excuse me, when one character carries the animation so much and then doesn't win, it's kind of you know kind of disheartening <sighs> a little bit because yeah, it's like bit. oh he did so much cool shit but he doesn't win. And even Plus, then, like all he uh, did Mar was Mario was kind of the instigator. Sonic was being an asshole, but Mario was the one who was like okay I'm gonna kick your ass and I was like. What? I don't know. Sonic was uh, Sonic had a lot of shit there. Yeah. And, I don't know. you know, you get hit. By the way, I, I, yeah. I just wanted to see more of these kind of, you know, just harken back to the Super Mario Bros. Z days where we see, like, the power ups and shit, and instead of, yeah. like, oh, Mario punches and, and he throws fireballs. Yeah, Luigi, Luigi vs. Tails kind of fell into the same bracket and stuff. They didn't do as much as they could have. And yeah, the lack of Super Sonic is kind of shit, especially with. How great they used Super Sonic last time they used Sonic. Like, what if it happened oh, again? With, with what if it happened? What if it happened again? What if what if fucking Mario hit him into a wall and starts walking away, and then the same music plays and you go the exact same frames, just do the exact same thing again? It would have been gold. I would have lost my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the best thing. <laughs> what if Sonic still lost after it? song? Let me see yeah. how he. <laughs> It's, no, it, the same exact animation happens. Like, it, oh, he could you hits imagine the ground and it like, causes the earthquake, but then it's Sonic on the ground with a broken neck. And that's like, how did this happen? What? How did he was... Could and you imagine the dislikes based on oh, Mario be beating and Sonic? And <laughs> it's super sad. It would be right, but it would just go. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh lols. I said Akuma long. versus um, Iron Fist. Oh yeah, D DBX yeah. time. Mar yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. See, see all this goodwill and optimism we had. Prepare for yeah. it to be ripped straight out of our assholes. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, this god, was... this lit. Only oh. two of them are pretty good. Yeah, but all it the gets bad. better, but we have to go through some shit. Yeah, I think this one, this one, and the uh, one of you, you know the one that's obviously the worst one. But this one and the other one are kind of the what? same. Well, and that... Magneto's pretty cool. No! You fuck! <laughs> Mac, I swear to Christ! Just, okay, let's just go. Akuma vs. Iron Fist. What it was, was bad. It? it was bad. Over Netflix. It, it, yeah, it's 30. Oh, it's a fight over Netflix. Akuma watching Netflix? What? Akuma um, watching TV in general seems weird. He should be punching TVs. It was. It was. <laughs> the setup. Episode. Yeah, it was yeah, just the, weird. The setup was shit. The fight animation was nothing special at, at best. Uh, the actual core yeah, it's just bad, 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 bad. Kumo always wins. I mean, I don't like Akuma, but oh, yeah, yeah, Akuma is on one. I'm, at just, Akuma. I'm convinced at this point, Akuma and fucking Raiden from Metal Gear Solid cannot lose a fucking thing at anything. So just fucking put them again together. One minute melee, 
death battle, they can't fucking lose. They don't ever lose! They and I, I know I know someone's gonna link us in the comments, like some fight where they actually lost on the DeviantArt. It's like, I oh, would be I'll, surprised. I'll try to find one. No, don't bother. It's probably against <laughs> it's probably against someone that they have no business fighting anyway. Because Fair most enough. their most their matchups they've already been put into in some media and win. And even matchups they shouldn't have been in anyway, like fucking Kuma versus Kenpachi. What's the connection there? I don't Just know, but they, but they did it three Blart. times, and that's fucking to... cool. What? I just said put it both against Paul Blart. Oh yes. god, no! Don't do this! No. Yes. Don't release the forbidden one! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Goodwill. Ken versus Blazer Ken. Why? I know why, I... but why? Uh, like, fight... more, but I just like watching more. There's so, there's so much good you can do with this. And they and it, so... like, there's some there's parts like I like the attack like no it's slow attack or up. it was it was all slow basic boring no I'm talking about bullshit. I'm talking about when they when like the effect they use when Blazekin starts using his attack oh yeah 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 I think I know what you mean it's been a while since I saw it yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but this is e this this is easily the worst EBX. I remember this. the Blaze Kid sprite looking a little bit weird. Eh, it was the Type Wild one. It was okay, but no, uh, I I used to think it was the Type Wild one. It might have been the Black and White one. Uh, no, uh, no, it, it's it, it. No, this fight was bad. It was just slow, uninspired. Uh, not the, uh, a this, whole load this. of nothing. There's so much you can do with this, and they did so like even just. Does Blaze Kid legit win? Uh, Blaze Kid yeah. legit won. Yeah. Can yeah. didn't do a sure you can. What? Yeah, I know. What the fuck? It's like his name. It, it, it's, it's his name. Did he? I assume, I can't remember. Did he do cr crazy kicks or did Blaziken slip uh, style on too much? I think he styled on him a bit. No, I remember Blaziken getting his ass beat until he did like fire shit. Again, it's been a while since I saw this one. It's, it's been legit months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going back and watching it. So uh, yeah. Uh, Samus versus Master Chief. Oh, Samus versus Master. Right. This one was good. This one was pretty good. I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. Of the two D ones in this list, it's easily the best. Is it better than the man? Fuck no. But... No. No. But what no. is? No. Why would you That's even take it? That's my favorite one. My melee. Right. How in the fuck? But for something that a while, just because he was so inspired by um, Haloid. This one was pretty cool and, and stuff, and the right person won. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they was just they could have done more with it. I think the kill shot was kind of eh, like just the walking up to him and gnawing his head off. You you just could have done more, but I mean, what? Wait, what? Was that Prince to Boba Fett, maybe? No, I don't think so. It's just, oh, okay. He, he's, he's, you, you could reach for it, I guess. Yeah. Even then, why would you do the same fucking thing anyway? At least, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's 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 accurate, but it's DBX. Who cares? Uh, but <laughs> but uh, it's it was a good fight. It's just I think it slowed the kill shot. Just slowed the whole thing down. It's like oh, it's a it's a, it's a lull in the action, so we can continue and go to more cool shit. And they did a whole load of nothing with it. They just blew his head off. Like yeah, it just yeah. And end it. It looked cool though. It looked cool. Maybe yeah. just blast blast him in the air with the zero laser or something. And then have like Samus in the zero suit walk away. I, uh, I I appreciate the fact that she didn't go into Zero Suit for once. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, on your, well, on, your I, hand, on your hand, I like Zero Suit. So. Yeah, who no, doesn't? It's, it, I like who doesn't like Zero Suit. But <laughs> it's just, it's weird that the power armor keeps falling apart and she wins with the, without it. Yeah, in all fairness, most matchups she gets put into are fucking stomps. Like the one exception that I've seen her like get seriously put into, or against Mega Man characters, in which case you know, I th she I think with the manga feats she beats. Uh, oh, the she, Samus and Joey shit. Yeah, with with uh, the sun, with with the whole freezing the sun thing, she beats normal Mega Man, but she doesn't beat X, and without them, normal Mega Man beats her. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, in that case, it goes yours. Actually. Would she win with Zero Suit? Because then the Mega Mans can't actually hurt her without being like corrupted by their programming or what? Like without going against their programming. That that that's oh, going fuck. that's going into fucking like stupid ass territory. So that's not. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, please, okay. no. 
Uh, yeah, Nick Turner versus Dalsim. Disgusting. Uh, it was disgusting. The, the why? Another why? Yeah, it's why to fight. Like, this is why, just. Why did Street Fighter happen? I'm happy they did. I mean, for fuck's sake. Yeah, if they had made Dalsim lose to Wii Fit Trainer, I think. Then they officially a lot. hate Street Fighter. Yeah. They, they love Street Fighter yeah, so much sense. that they're going to constantly kill the characters off unless they, you know, in accepting fights that they should, you know, lose. Hmm. Yeah, you know, that, that happens. And even sometimes fights, they, yeah. It's, but yeah, this fight was literally why. They did, they did eat decent things with it. They didn't completely cop, we, copy We Fit Trainer's moveset from Smash. Somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, did, they did some clever things where we were throwing like the We Fit Trainer board and stuff. And it was cool. Uh, yeah. But as Why? a whole, as a whole, what, yeah, it just it doesn't do enough to get over that initial stigma you're gonna go in in with. Like, why is this a thing? You know, <laughs> you just it's not you. It doesn't for a wacky fight like this to work. Uh, it needs to do something really special. It needs to earn its place. And the big example that we're always gonna bring up when we talk about this is probably Sega the Sancho versus Chuck Norris because that fight had no reason to exist and it like deserved every little bit of it that did exist you know mm -hmm. yeah. yeah or finally at the end magneto for oh Bo, your your voice what the oh, you're oh, that, I, I'm oh, there you go there okay. you go okay i i'm i i you sound like you're not... shouting from like five miles away I noticed something wrong with my audio settings on my capture and i think i know what it was we're fine don't worry don't kill uh it's just I something we it's it's something we were Camtasia I didn't notice until now, so we're good. Magneto versus Darth Vader. Yeah, um this was really, really good. I like this one a lot. Yeah. Another weird matchup, but it's it was cool, yeah. Yeah. Um I we, I uh, like the interactions. I kind of like I actually like the fact where the the part of each other I mean, yeah. it was kind of weird, but... It, it, expl it, explains why, it explains why they didn't end it with that. Because they both knew they could kill each other with it, so it was kind of like an honor agreement that we won't do it because it's just as like, like the minute I start trying, you're just going to fuck me up. You know? It's, that's a re it's really good in-battle storytelling. Yeah. Is, every fight has a story to There's tell not in order to be effective. Yeah, every fight has a story to tell in order to be effective, and you can often tell what fights are good or not because, you know, they, they answer these questions in the fight. It's even even fights that research need this shit, um, uh, instead of just doing cool shit. Um, so yeah, I like that part. But yeah, in general, just how the the interaction between the powers and the the kill shot was so damn creative. Yeah, yeah. I love that kill shot. Um, with the, okay, with the, would we say this is the best DBX so far? The best three three D DBX. Yeah. yeah There's only yeah. been like. Yeah. Three of them. Well, let's Three. see. Let's let's see. We have uh, Trish, Master... versus... Trish versus John, which is like the worst one. No. Um, yeah, we have no uh, freaking Saitama. <laughs> oh, you... never mind. I forgot yeah, about yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah, about those ones. I forgot about those ones for a reason. Okay, yeah. I didn't think we were gonna count those. Yeah. Okay, those are worse. Uh, okay, we so... have. Okay, so basically, is it better? Uh, Raiden versus Genji, or um, that. What was that other really good one? Pre that... Predator and Prophet. Predator and Prophet. Yeah. Okay, so maybe yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. I think I think it's better than those two. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. By a decent bit too. It just seemed to flow better. Every the pet. It was it was good. And yeah. Predator versus right? Prophet was more good because it was just a sudden holy. Sh yeah. It was. It was oh, one of the. Yeah. It was. It was the first one. Of the first holy shit. DBX actually has some quality hidden in it somewhere, and now we're kind of used to it. Despite the fact that we're all like, oh, these fights are only, we're bad or okay. Like, you know, minus Ken versus the Blaze game, we still probably would have looked favorably on them a couple of months ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, these are, the, this one in particular is just really good. I liked it a lot. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So, we, is there, we went through the whole fucking thing. Like, three material? Three months? Uh, something like that. Yeah, so shit. yeah, this is uh, this was an ordeal, and we still have some time. So uh, get yeah. your thing off your chest if you want. All to do right, that, yeah. 
Izuku Midoriya versus Gone Freezes. Oh, you God, fucking man. assholes on the Discord. <laughs> Bunch, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, like, no, 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 no. Uh, I can give I can give some backstory without you know people being mad or without pe by people yeah, I mean mad. Like, yeah, basically. Uh, if for those of you who don't know, somehow, uh, Med has a couple of well-documented interests, like uh, Scott Pilgrim, my, uh, no, no, no More, more heroes. heroes, No More Heroes, yeah. he likes Mad World, yeah. Yeah. but his, uh, his, one of his bigger interests is... One uh, Piece, my boy. One Piece. Hey. We're, 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 we're counting only the good shit, Mac. Uh, yeah. But uh, what is, <laughs> one of one of we, like there's no accounting for shit taste, but you know he, ha he, he has a little bit of it. Get there. on with it. Yeah, his one of his bigger interests is uh, my hero academy, my hero kit, the Boku no hero, whatever you call it. Basically, the event, the adventures of Crybaby make Winge Baggy Boy, um, and uh, yeah, he likes he he likes little Izuku Deku Midoriya. People call him too many names. I know, I know. I watched his cream puff. Why? Yeah, I've I've watched the series. I know why he has those the names. sweet delicate don't, don't... little flower. <laughs> Protect his Wherever smile. The fuck yeah. Has, so, uh, but given why are the you name, my backstory on this <laughs> because uh, you're going to get angry. So yeah, people want to see Deku die to make Med cry and gone as no. Good. But wait, you get angry all the time. I and you guys have the entire. Like, no, yeah, but you're not allowed to get angry. I don't even about me. I'm no, just you're, a nice here. You're you're actually you're actually not. I, I'll, angry I'll, mad. I won't get mad. I won't get I won't get that mad. Okay, so Gon's so, the, Gon's the executioner, right? Yes, it's a fight that so fucking far to to reach for details, I mean, thematics, and there's absolutely no way that Izuku's gonna win. And wait, I know this was a one melee a while ago, but why is this coming up now? Because I know, because every single time that we put people, we ask people on the, hey, what fights are you going to be uh. wanting to see? <laughs> yeah, they always do it. They know. They always <laughs> do this fucking match. Fucking they know. nice. Okay, man. So I'm just getting it out of play. I, I, I have since, a better since, one that yeah. helps. Go how, on. about, how about Anakin Skywalker versus Travis Touchdown? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, med, med, med. In order to maybe calm down, med. If you had your okay, you 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 get approached one day by Ben and Chad, yeah, and they tell you they're going to use Deku in a death battle. You can pick the opponent. Miles Morales. How about Amy Rose versus Scott Pilgrim? <laughs> Finish him off for good while he's miserable. Scott <laughs> Pilgrim versus the Revengeance. The <laughs> Scott Pilgrim versus the Fresh. Game. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mor Miles Morales. Like Deku's gonna die pretty much every single. He's getting. He gets As into. As of now, hopefully he gets stronger. But it's a. They should use all might. But yeah. But Here, make one it thing, up. One. It, Ned, I just want to pitch this. I'm gonna do it on podcast. I'm gonna get lynched by the chat later. Um. What's it called? Yeah, I, I saw it brought up, actually in our chat, not in the not in the DB discussing that battle chat in our chat. Uh, pe uh, people comparing the series. So what about Deku versus Ruby Rose? Oh boy, <laughs> does, does, does he win? Does he win? I, I think he, blocked, he does. Right? Or what's that like bullshit? Now, uh, um, I think he sure got every major calc is like bullshit now for her. Yeah, I think it is. If it, if it is. Uh... What's the, what's like, this, because people were comparing, like saying, "My Hero Academia is what Ruby should have been." It's Ruby done right. Yeah. It's like it's. I see. My it. Hero Academia the, is everything done right. It, it is. That's yeah, true. That's but I, it's like it's like I, like the character characters are pretty. There, there's similarities there, and it could make a decent fight. But like, so so they're I just. Him I I just want Med's opinion on does level. he win? Because if he doesn't win, then I don't want it. But if he does win, I want it really bad. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to risk it. Oh yeah, it's, so. it's death battle. <laughs> it's... it's best and possibly hypersonic reactions from reacting to Baku Ghost explosions. Oh, yeah. What, what's his what's his DC? I missed it. It cut out. It's large, large building level. Um, uh, maybe you ooh. could get he 
could get higher at the moment, like depending on like how you interpret one well, brawl. Does but... it does it does it say how he got large building level? Because uh, helps. The um, monsters com uh, construct of compacted earth, uh, plant rive. Oh, this is actually oh this is a chapter. This is actually a scan, so it's not a calc. Held his own oh. against people able to injure Bakugo, so maybe Bakugo has a large building level attack stronger than this know. versus alliance member. Okay. Oh. So the first got Ragdoll. So, so what? Okay, so there's the villain's uh, alliance. Some fodder guy, yeah. random fodder guy, is large building level, and he wrecked him. So fodder is large, least large building level, especially when he goes like all 100. percent Yeah, it. that's the thing. That, that's that the thing. So, so it's oh. so it's one of those things. That that's the thing I have an issue with. But that idea is that there's no way the shit that All Might's done is only large building level. Okay, right. So and, let me wait, actually look up All Might now. Okay, great. Yeah, all Oh, Use oh. All Might in a uh, right. death battle. Well, who would they put him against? That is the, what I need to figure out. I heard them make a suggestion that they were talking about that they want to use All Might. They, they, they want to use All Might. I heard that too, actually. Yeah, uh, the suggestion I heard was Guy. Oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Like, They'll never have to fight Mr. Incredible, uh, Mr. Incredible. Some superhero <laughs> like, like Wild Tiger or something. Okay, I don't know. large like, town just... level is his best. Okay, yeah, so Deku wins. Yeah, because he can definitely do that with okay, one punch. Okay, granted, this is large town level at his prime before he got fucked up. And this, yeah, Deku, large, and this is Calc I stacking. I thought it was large town Oh, wait, it's Calc stacking? It's Calc stacking, so he's small town level. That's disgusting. Okay, yeah, it's not, small town level should still be enough, though. Yeah, uh, no, De Deku's not. De so Deku wins, all might, cool. Like, all my ass pull out, Deku would fucking die. De Deku would beat Ruby though, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, and he's and they're both hypersonic, so that's yeah. cool. No, no, that, that's and all my, I need. What, that, that's my, all I needed my, in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's totally, totally beautiful. Miles. I totally get, I totally get Med's idea of people retarded ass mess up to its people that we like. Fucking yeah. If I hear Popeye again, I get fucking. <laughs> please, please, for the love of God, stop suggesting Yu-Gi-Oh shit. I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Luffy versus Popeye is actual you watch fucking age. Hunter x Hunter and My Hero Academia. You don't need to. You don't Gon need to win this show to understand that God's better. Mm. Maybe one day, because you know. One day, hopefully. Because all Might's like prime feats are like literally undocumented and, and, hiat and, and hiatus, and hiatus is constantly in hiatus. Yeah. And De and Deku actually got like a. Uh, I think he actually got a buff in the last chapter. I won't yeah. go into. Uh, he like. Uh, he ra he raised up the limits that he can do the full cow. He's at twenty percent, I think. Twenty percent. Yeah. So if he's twenty percent, what the fuck? Town level. Last 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 I heard that I I I read spoilers. Okay, like I read I read chapters. spoilers on his ability on the wiki. I, I like a little bit, but like uh, yeah, this is literally series. this like this yeah. week. Oh, that makes sense, because last I saw, he was on 8. How the yeah. fuck did he improve 12%? Dude, dude, just like... <laughs> what did he do? He's at 20%, so 20% um, of small town. Okay, like, massive, massive block. spoilers. Yeah. Stop, he want, he want... Ooh, okay, don't tell me who. Yeah. Do you, what did he do? I, I, Somebody I died. He, someone died in front of him, like... So, so this is... This is the shonen moment of our heroes fucking pissed. Oh boy. Oh god, no. Oh, oh god. Pissed if off Deku? Why would you do <laughs> it? <laughs> don't oh, piss off riot. the seven. Oh god. Oh, I'm afraid of who. I don't want to know because I'm going to wait for the anime to get there. Or maybe Shit. I'll just maybe I'll just get in and read the manga. But I'm like, was it one of yeah, class? I'm going to catch up right it's now. Yeah. Well. It was like, was it one of class 1A? Was it was it a teacher? Don't, like, don't even say that. Sensei? Don't even say that. Don't even no. say that. What? Was it All Might? Was it his mother? No, like, it can't be All Might. No. Not yet. What? All Might can't die yet. He's going to, but not yet. <laughs> what? Like, if it was his mother, like, what, what, if she blew up, how, oh. much pe how many pieces would there be? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually now re- Oh, I can, now I can know how much I like this series. Yeah, it, I've only finished it like like 
obviously as the <laughs> season ended. And um, it's just sinking in, like, oh god, I really don't want any of these characters to die. Except Endeavor. Yeah. Endeavor can die. Oh, He's allowed to die. Is it? Yeah. If Endeavor died, no one would care. No one. He, even even his son would like probably piss on his grave. <laughs> no, Mineta <laughs> has to live. Mineta has to live. No, that's the meme. Everybody hits Mineta. <laughs> only oh, only in the class. <laughs> See, the fan the fandom love him. <laughs> he's, that, he's a fucking legend. You cannot tell me he's not a legend. Who? Did you ever see? Stupid ass meme. Everyone in class 1A is a not you hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that meme's gone everywhere. It's 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 like putting everything. Uh, but that's right. my favorite one. That's my favorite one because <laughs> I uh, wouldn't mind. Blog is me not a dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. But Mineta has shown more conviction to be a hero than like 90% of the class. <laughs> he's he's legitimately more focused than most of them. He no, just real so talk. He just so happens to have an appreciation for the titties. <laughs> Therefore, he must die. Oh, this is this is literally just like the whole <laughs> cis cis man video, must like, die. All Might is like what is big ass punch from the first season, and it's like photoshopped to be Mineta instead of like. The the fucking Nomu? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You may have uh, heard these words before, but let me show you what they really mean. Respect women. <laughs> uh, Man, have you seen the fucking Kata Curry memes too? Um, <laughs> like everything you could do. <laughs> oh, oh God. I the anime love. community is low-key hilarious anyway well and the, when they get the, when they get their hands on a good show when they get over their good, when they get their hands on a good show and they're a good fan base beautiful things happen <laughs> yeah and also bad things like those images in the shit posting chat those are bad uh, okay i think that's a good place to stop yeah yeah before, before we get start... to, we're getting to dangerous territory <laughs> into a fan <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, this is this is a bad place. We're this in a, a bad zone. <laughs> right in the 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 danger zone. The top three song, man. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this. It's actually not that much of a bumper special. It's about the same length as normal. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Danger uh, zone is our title, by the way. Danger zone is our title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or Deku Zone. No, Danger Zone's better. Uh, yeah, so I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this episode where we covered lots of shit. Hopefully we won't be... I say, I say this every single time. Hopefully we won't be on a multi-week hiatus this time. Like, hopefully I'm back fucking in, Mother Nature would give my butthole yeah. a rest. I, I'm back in college and out of work because, you know, people are cunts. So, hope, so oh. hopefully there will be less, uh, there will be less interruptions that way because I have weekends and free and... Uh, I only have one lecture on two days a week, so I should have plenty of time to edit and record and stuff. And uh, yeah, Mac is a uh, Mac is a nurse, so uh, he's what? the bottom nurse. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know, when you know when you, you know when you're, you're you're browsing in the deep and like in, in places you shouldn't be around family, and the, the nurse walks in, and, just, and like, yeah. Wait, like, where are we go? Where are we? Go <laughs> oh, we're stopping this. We're stopping. <laughs> we're stopping this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Uh, see you next I don't even know where she's going with this, but goodbye. <laughs> Why? Ow. <laughs> it was a porn reference. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> okay, goodbye, we're done. Bye. <laughs>